I'm gonna make a double batch of pizza crust dough right now out of my discard, which is labeled Mabel. That's my great-grandmother's name on my mom's side of the family, and my starter is named Violet after my great-grandmother on my dad's side. I'm using the King Arthur flour recipe, which calls for 454 grams of sourdough discard, so 454. 600 grams of flour, two teaspoons of salt, and I use sea salt. One, two, one teaspoon of active dry yeast, and I keep this in the freezer. 282, at least, grams of lukewarm water. We're gonna mix this with the dough hook in the KitchenAid and make sure that it the dough comes together and isn't dry. If it is dry, I'll add a little bit more water at a time until it's not dry. Let it knead for a little bit. The directions say seven minutes. That's way too long on the KitchenAid. It's coming together, but I think it's a little bit dry, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. And we'll let this go so that it kneads well. It's about done. The dough is pulling away from the sides of the bowl. It's not sticking. So we'll stop it. See how it's climbing up the hook? I'm going to put it into two separate quart-sized freezer bags so that we have two different pizza crusts in the freezer ready to go. I'm labeling my two quart-sized bags with the date and contents, sourdough pizza crust and instructions. Thaw in fridge for 12 hours rise 30 minutes shape rise again and bake fold it back so i don't get dough in the zippers olive oil i get a little bit down the side so it goes down to the bottom pinch it down the middle to get two approximately equal amounts and I'm gonna pour it in to this baggie. It's coated in olive oil, so it should release. This one might be a little bit smaller, that's okay. The bigger one we'll use for a stuffed crust. I'm gonna seal this and get all of the air out. And flatten it out so that it freezes and stores more compact, and then when it, um, it'll freeze quicker and Flatten it. There we go. So I've had this sourdough pizza crust dough in the freezer for a month. I got it out at 6 a.m. It is now nearly 5 p.m. and it's been in the fridge thawing. Plus it's been out on the counter thawing for about 45 minutes now. This is a 16 inch pizza pan. I'm gonna put some olive oil in the center of it. Maybe about two tablespoons. And we'll get the dough put onto the pan. And we're going to, I'm going to turn it over so that I have some oil on the top so my hands don't stick. And I'm just going to spread it out into an even layer. Make sure the outer edges aren't too thick. I'm going to let it sit here for 15 minutes like this. And then I'm going to, going to spread it out to the edges again after that 15 minutes to give it some time to retain its shape. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, so I'm gonna push it out to the edges again, and hopefully it'll hold its shape this time. And we're gonna let it rise for about a half an hour, probably. My oven is preheated to 450 degrees. The sourdough pizza crust has risen for, oh, maybe 45 minutes, almost an hour. So I'm gonna top it with everything but the cheese because we're gonna add that after we bake it for 10 minutes. Spread this sauce clear out to the edge. I think the sauce on a pizza is my favorite. And then I'm gonna add pepperoni. This pizza is going in the oven at 450 degrees for 10 minutes. Now I need to add the cheese. I've got mozzarella, of course. Add Parmesan on top of that. It's going to go back in the oven for about 10 minutes until the cheese is browned. Oh man, that looks so good. Let's get it cut up. 